In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Translate to WordPress website. And this is exactly what you will get by the end of this video. See that I've translated to French. I can also translate to Hausa. I can translate to Arabic. Perfect. So whichever language you want your users to translate your website into will depend upon the particular languages you will be selecting. And I'll be showing you how you can do that in this very tutorial. So if you want to translate your WordPress website into different languages, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to add Google Translator to our WordPress website, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for Google Language Translator. I have the plugin right here, Translate WordPress, Google Language Translator. I click on install now. It is installed, I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Now, if I go to the front end of my website, I have the translate feature right here. Now, if I click on it, at the moment, it's only one language that is present, which is English. Now, let's see how we can add more languages. So, going back to the back end, I hover on settings, then I click on Google Language Translator. The plugin status is checked to activate. So if you want to deactivate it, this is where you can do that. Going down, these are the various languages that comes with the plugin. At the moment, English is selected. Now if I select all, all the languages will be selected. But you don't need all these languages on your website. So I clear all. First of all, I make sure English is selected. I also go ahead and select French. I'll select Arabic. And finally, I'll choose one African language, that is Hausa. Going down, I click on Save Changes. Now, if I go to the front end and refresh, I have the button here, I click on it, and these are the various languages I've selected. Now, if I choose Arabic, let's see what we get. We have our text translated right here. Going down, we have Arabic here and it will run through the entire website. Now if I choose a different language, maybe Hausa, this is how it will come up. Awesome. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now let's see more customization settings. If I go back under language switcher settings, you can customize the width which is currently set to 100% so you can choose whatever pixels you want i'll leave it as 100% the next important feature here is show flag images if i go back to the front end and click on translate instead of the actual language name you see the national flags from the various languages going back so if you don't want to see the national flags you go ahead and untick it from here you can also choose to show or hide the language switcher whichever way you want i'll show the language switcher next we have layout option at the moment it is set to vertical you can also choose horizontal let's see how that one will come up you can also choose to show the google toolbar at the moment it is set to yes so maybe i choose no let me show you the google toolbar that is what we have right here when you begin to translate your website going back so if you don't want to see it you set it to no show google branding so the if the toolbar is off definitely the branding is also set to no going down next we have show floating translation widget at the moment it is set to yes show widget and we actually want to show it we don't want to hide it we also have custom text for the floating widget so we see that on the button it is set to translate enter whatever text you want so for instance if i enter language that is what we will now see at the front end when we save our changes. We also have allow floating widget text to translate. Let's select it and see what we will get at the end. Next we have floating widget position. 
from here you can either choose top or bottom however each one of them that is bottom and top comes with left center and right so at the moment it is set to bottom left let's choose bottom right you can change the text color as well as the background color maybe i want to choose a background color that will match with the colors of my website so going back i click in there and i'm going to go ahead and use this something closer to some of my colors then i go ahead and save the changes take note there are other flag settings right here that is the size of the flag so you can set them as you want now if i go to the front end of my website and refresh you now see the look and feel of our button also on top right here we don't see the google translator bar anymore and this is perfect now if i click on it i can choose maybe french awesome going back i can set it to english perfect now let's take a look at the allow floating widget i've not really seen an effect with regards to that let me uncheck it then i save the changes going back let's refresh so i've not really seen an effect of that particular feature all right with this your users can easily switch from one language to another based on the particular languages you have selected so that's it on how you can translate your wordpress website now if you are looking for a plugin that can translate your wordpress website so that you'll be able to show the language switcher in the menu of your website stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you there